Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, which means it's time for a Magic Live. Now, on the channel recently, I've been giving you examples on Magic Lives about how you can actually string routines together that make it kind of a longer set and uh, transitioning from one routine to the other. And the whole idea here is looking at your routines that you do within your act and trying to work out how you can actually take different routines and put them together so it logically makes sense. I've done a video on this called Building Set List, which you can check out on on the magic stuff playlist uh, but let me give you an example there's three routines here that I'm going to perform and that I think these three go together really well so first of all you've got the classic Di Vernon and twisting the aces then we're going into a John Carney routine from Carney Copia uh, which is kind of like a small packet ambitious with the uh, with the aces and then finishing off with the last trick of Doc Daly the classic last trick of Doc Daly these three routines they work together really well and I'll show you what I mean. It should be interesting. Yeah, so Jack, I've got uh, I've got four aces here. Can you see them? Uh, we're only going to use four cards because uh, my entire career, people have told me that I'm playing. Uh, I'm not playing with a full deck. So now this is the proof. Uh, <laughs> just just four cards. And uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, as magicians, I. Um, I do things a certain way, and I notice that people aren't magicians, don't. For example, just the simple action of turning a card over. You ask a, a layman, a muggle, a non-magical folk to turn a card over, they'll probably do that. Uh, that's what most people do when they turn over a card. Uh, sometimes I've seen people like flip it over underneath the deck, but they're weird. Um, but magicians tend to do this. Uh, if I, as a magician, want to turn a card over, I'll just do this. Now, that doesn't look like anything's happened, but I've actually turned a card over. Um, I've actually turned over the Ace of Hearts right there in the middle. Now, you might have missed that, so I'll do it again. Look, if I give it a little twist, this time the Ace of Hearts turns face down and the uh, the Ace of Clubs turns face up. Oh. Yeah, let me do it again. Let me uh, flip that Ace of Clubs over. This time, if I want to do the Ace of Diamonds, I just do that, and uh, that would be the, uh, the Ace of Diamonds right there. That's the third one. Uh, it leaves us with one last one, which is the Ace of Spades. Now, the interesting thing is if I don't do that twisting thing, nothing will happen. Like, I could literally uh, not twist and, and nothing will happen all day. But the second I twist, the very second I twist, what happens is uh, that final ace turns over there. And that's, uh, that's how magicians turn cards over. Um, but now you understand that. I want to see if I can go one step further, okay? Okay. Uh, because I want to show you something with just two aces this time, okay? And we're going to use the two black aces. You see them here, yeah? Yeah. Now, here's the interesting thing. What I just showed you basically was sleight of hand. I turned the cards over when you weren't looking. But if I take those two black aces and put them at the bottom, and then I snap my fingers and they come back up to the top, people think that that's sleight of hand as well because they think that there's somehow that I can make the aces jump to the top. It's not. It's real magic. It looks like it's sleight of hand, but it's not. And I've tried to prove to people that it's sleight of hand, uh, not sleight of hand, and they don't believe me. They just think that every single time they see those black aces come to the top, that the only option is that it's sleight of hand. I want you to understand it's not. And I've tried it multiple ways. I've tried putting the cards down on the table, snapping my fingers and still coming to the top. It doesn't work. So I've discovered that there's only one way to prove to you that I'm not using sleight of hand. What's that? And that's to go really slowly. Look, I'm going to put the Ace of Hearts right there on the table, yes? Yeah. And I'm going to put <clears> the Ace <throat> of Diamonds right there, and I'll drop it from a distance right there on the table, yes? Right. You know the two red aces are there. If I do this, and they jump, so that the two red aces are there, and the two black aces are there, you know that that is real magic. That's ace. Thank you. Love the pun. Um, there you go. So that's an example of stringing a couple of different routines together uh, and, and creating a longer routine. So look at your own tricks and see if how you can do the same thing as well, because that's how you get really good when you're doing close-up magic commercially. You create set lists, uh, routines that work together in a kind of a logical way. Anyway, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'm going to be back again at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. Mm -hmm.